<laughs> you know, uh, I, I don't want to get emotional on you, but looking at all of you, uh, it, it just, uh, I just choke up because I, I see, I see all of you and, and how hard all of you have worked for us, how sincere you've been, how much you believe in us. Uh, in my campaign, uh, it's just been a tough one, but let me, let me start as Elias did. We know that there is a higher power, that he has a destiny plan for all of us. And whatever he chooses to do with us and for us and to guide us, that's where we go. And for me, he's, he's picked me to be a public servant for many, many years. And I don't think that'll ever stop. I have uh, a history of, of, of working for the public good, and I will never give that up. But I want to start by recognizing also my wife of 35 years, May. When, when we were having a discussion, and mind me, you know, I mean, forgive me because uh, I talked for a long time and so just, just be patient with me. <laughs> when we were discussing whether to get into this race, we tossed it back and forth, I don't know how many times, and one morning I would say, let's go for it. The other morning I would say, maybe not, and you know, may, maybe it's not a good decision. And I find it's, and May, May would always say, I'll do whatever you want, I'll be there to support you. And then finally one day on the way to Albuquerque, you, you know, we turned off the radio and it was just me and her. And I asked her, uh, I don't want you to just tell me that you'll do whatever I want. I want you to tell me what you want. And she said, go for it. And so that was a signal. That was a signal to start the campaign. Unfortunately, that signal and our discussions and many of your, your, you know, your words of encouragement started a little late. A campaign for the state senate should not start as late as I did. I started like five days before filing, before the date to file. And thanks to many of you, I needed 182 petition signatures and we turned in over 1,200 just in a matter of a few days. And so I know, I know what can occur when, when you have a following such as this room that's, that's full of loyal and sincere supporters that, that believe in, in you. That, that is so heartwarming that, you know, I, I don't know how to explain. I also want to thank my family, my extended family. They've been there, uh, you know, my family through me, uh, my brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws and nephews and nieces, my own brothers and sisters, and not, I don't have my sister, but my own brothers and nephews and, you know, they've been there. But so have all of you. I've had, I've had supporters that have become part of my family. You know, calling each day and, and reporting back and forth and strategizing and, and, and on days when you, when you feel like, should I continue with this or not? You get a text or, or you get a little message and they say something like uh, some, some word of encouragement that just energizes you and you keep going. And so my heart, my thanks go out to all of you in this room, all of, all of you that spent you know, so many days with me doing all the, the work. This is hard work. You know, a lot of people that, that don't do this or get, don't get involved don't realize how difficult this is and how much time it takes and commitment and, and dollars and, you know, energy and all of that. And so 
con todo mi corazón le doy las gracias a todos ustedes que dieron tanto tiempo de ustedes y me lo ofrecieron a mí por toda mi vida voy a estar agradecido thank you so much just completely dedicated all their time to me and into this campaign and I, I have a debt of gratitude and I don't want to start naming because it's so many there's so many of you that that uh, you know I, I, I can't name all of you but I I don't think I'm gonna make up the numbers that I need to make up to be able to win this election but let me tell you a little bit about about how this election transpired. An election is a lot of ups and downs. It's a roller coaster ride. At the beginning, we were so far behind that people would say, you know, are you still in the race? I don't see your signs, I don't see your billboards. You know, did, did you decide not to run? And so it started off, first of all, very late. You know, I started off like on March 15th. It, it gives us like two months, really, Good, a good two months to do a race that you should usually maybe plan six months to a year in advance and for many reasons that I'll share in a few minutes but at that time we, we started at a disadvantage we started way too late because it as I mentioned it takes a long time but the momentum changed because all of you we had meetings and, and we organized in a way that I know that we had more people on the ground that were more dedicated and more sincere for the right reasons. We had people that believed in us, not because they had any personal uh, intentions of, of ever being rewarded for anything. It was just individuals that just believed that we or I was were the better candidate was a better candidate and that would represent you and that is so heartwarming because I wasn't offering anything to anybody you all knew that you were working for me using your own finances your own time you know you were just completely dedicated and so we started the campaign with that but as we went we started gathering momentum you know any opportunity that I had to debate or, or to go into a group, I would prevail. And, and we started gaining momentum up until, you know, we had some mishaps, you know, it's a bumpy road and we had some mishaps. We had a few mistakes that our campaign made and, you know, campaigns make, you know, good decisions and sometimes decisions that, that turn out to be, you know, a disadvantage. But along the way, we were riding a momentum that was growing and growing and growing. Unfortunately, we had a couple of mishaps just within the last week, or, or just maybe one mishap, that was on the last week, that was taken out of context. And by taking it out of context, we have to give credit to our opposition. Our opposition took advantage of a mishap that occurred by by our campaign but it wasn't a mishap that demonstrated anything that that we did as candidates that that deserved you know the the kind of misrepresentation and so it was it was a mishap that i think changed momentum in the last few days mm. and we have to give credit to our opponents you know i ran against an incumbent that has served three years and and part of part of the disadvantage of starting late is that you don't generate the revenue the finances that you need you know many of you got up to five or six mailers in the mail got half page ads in the paper paid consultants paid lobbyists paid uh, pollsters you know and I was making that up by just having you, by having you uh, as my supporter because 
as you were working harder than those paid people were working. So we're riding, we're riding a strong momentum. But very recently, there was a, a, a mishap that uh, among just, you know, that we couldn't, you know, possibly avoid because there, there's so many things that can happen in a, con in a campaign. But our opposition took advantage of that mishap and you have to give them credit for it because that's, it's, it's like a basketball game. If you make a turnover, the, the opposing team takes advantage of that turnover and, and you lose a play. And so that's, that's how all that happened. But the momentum changed going in, into this campaign. We were so confident. And when the numbers are all totaled, you'll see that, that all of you, no one in this room has any reason to hang their head low. I mean, we really gave it a strong, strong effort. And the one that, that we should maybe, among all of us here, uh, maybe I let you down. Because I know, I know that you didn't let me down. All of you, and I see a lot around this room, and I see all of you, and I, you know, it just, it, it just uh, fills my heart with, with uh, so much uh, joy and enthusiasm. I, you know, I just never wanted to let you down. But I, let me tell you something. It's not over. It's not over. me to this point was a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of support from all of you for all of the things that we've done over the years. That is not going to stop. The one thing that I still am is a county commissioner. And as a county commissioner, I will not stop working for you. There is, you know, we... We didn't capitalize on, on the advertising, everything that's in the works. But you're gonna see within the next six months, things that this county hasn't seen in a long time in terms of projects, major projects. I mean, million dollar projects that are, you're gonna be seeing that are in the works, but we didn't capitalize on that. We didn't think it was appropriate. But you're gonna see them because we're not gonna stop working. And so I want to end by, by thanking each and every one of you for everything that you did for me and for my family and for all the work that you put into this. It's, you know, I, I have so much gratitude to all of you that, you know, I, I don't know how I'll ever repay all of you except by telling you that I will continue serving and I'll continue doing the best that I can on all of your behalfs. One last thing, one last thing I want to mention. I want to mention that we brought this county to the point where it's credible. Among all counties in the state, we are not an embarrassment. We are a model county in many respects. It doesn't matter how we're portrayed. But let me, let me assure you this. With all of your help, let's keep our heads high and help me to make this county even better and make it a county that we can all be proud of. This is what it's all about, look. <laughs> I want to ask you, we, we got portrayed, we got portrayed.
great uh, more recently as as uh, doing improper unethical behavior in campaigns let me assure you that was not in the plans that was not with our intentions that was not something that we condone of that we don't approve of it whatever occurred within the last few days is not indicative of the way that we do business and what i want to what i want to assure you is with your help this county will continue to progress and we're going to be the pride of this state because we've done many many things and we'll continue yeah. to do that. Does anybody else want to? <laughs> uh, well, I want to end by saying uh, I think we have two candidates that three. I think I think Elias is going to pull this race off. And from my understanding, and I, you know, we, we don't have all the numbers, uh, Raymond, but. Uh, I think Danny Garcia, the third commissioner that we were rooting for, is going to pull it off. And I, I have strong confidence in that Moises Morales will continue to be a third.